Hey, this will be a video chart on GDSM. Remember this one from a while back. I did quite a few videos on it if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, but I had some uh, questions been trickling in on it. And uh, pulling up the chart, just want to get things uh, updated and kind of just point out uh, what I see and uh, what you want to see occur going forward from the charting perspective. The impression from the majority of the questions and requests I've got seem to be from people that care about the longer term chart because they're in this for the longer term haul. So that's the angle I'm going to take on it and perspective. Uh, so with that being said, uh, this one actually becomes much simpler uh, when you look at it that way. And when I say much simpler, all I'm talking about is uh, this line right here. So first let me get this changed to green and make this stick because it is an important level. Uh, but this is an uptrend that has begun to form and this is the level that you want to see the price continue to hold above. Uh, not to state the obvious, but uh, all reversals and you know upwards moves have to start somewhere. And um, it's definitely been occurring here. You can see that uh, the price finally bottomed out here at 003, made a couple nice moves up upwards. But then when it did pull back, it found a low right here at 0 0.0033. And again, I don't mean to state the obvious, but obviously 0 0.0033 is higher than 0 0.03, which allows us to now be able to draw this uptrend line here. And as long as this remains the case, then uh, the chart is going to remain bullish and not only remain bullish, but continue to get uh, more and more bullish uh, over time. Because remember, if, if it pulls down, falls down here, find support, heads back up, and then so on and so forth, eventually all these moving averages will begin to curl back upwards and, uh, you know, head up. So uh, sure, I know this is discouraging here where you had an upwards move and now it's pulling back. Uh, but as long as that higher low gets put in, then you know, the, the overall chart and, uh, you know, shorter term, medium term, however you gauge this will remain bullish. So uh, don't get too disheartened. Uh, but that's really what I see. And um, I know that's a pretty simplistic view to, way to look at the chart. But, uh, you know, for the time being, that's pretty much, I think, the best way to look at it. Because uh, as long as, like I said, the trend holds, then, you know, the rest of the chart will take care of itself. So uh, that's the key thing to keep your eye on. You can eyeball it. I'd probably call this right around 0 0.0037, 0 0.0038. Uh, but, you know, this is an upsloping line, so it does change over time. Uh, but if I had to put a number to it, I'd probably just call it 0 0.0038 is the, the key level that you want to see the price to hold um, if it does pull back anymore. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with a newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, chart ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards on to penny stocks. So there's a good variety sent for everybody. It is all free. We're making some good money together on alerts. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. Also, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about the chart and what your strategy is going forward. One more time, this was GDSM. Thanks for listening.